In this video, we'll dive right into a Python script for a simple rock-paper-scissors game. This script allows the user to play against the computer in a series of rounds. Let's go through each part of the code and understand how the game works. So the first thing we'll have to do is we'll have to import the built-in module random provided by Python. This basically allows us to uh, generate random numbers in the program, as well as we'll have to initialize the variables. So here we begin by initializing some variables. We have user wins and computer wins. They're used to keep track of the number of times the user and the computer win the game respectively. The options list holds the possible choices the user can make, which are the three options, rock, papers, and scissors. Next, we have to move on to creating the main game loop. So the game loop is the core part of the script. It allows the user to play multiple rounds until they choose to quit by typing Q. Within the loop, the user is promoted, is prompted to input their choice, which is then converted to lowercase for case insensitive matching. If the user enters Q, the loop breaks and the game ends. If the user enters anything other than rock, paper, or scissors, the loop will continue, which will then prompt the user for a valid input once again. So now we'll move into creating the computer's choice. So this part basically randomly se selects the computer's choice from the options list, which uses a uh, random dot randint function. The random number generated can be either 0, 1, or 2, which corresponds to the three cho given choices, rock, paper, or scissors, respectively. The computer's choice is then printed to the screen. So now we'll create the probably largest part of the program, which will determine who wins.
So in this section, we determine the winner of each round. The code checks different combinations of the user's input and the computer's choice to determine the outcome. If the user wins, U1 is displayed on the, is displayed on the screen, and the user wins counter is incremented. If the user loses, U loss is shown, and the computer wins counter is computer wins counter is incremented. Now for the final part, we will dis display the final results. So after the game loop ends, this part displays the final results. It shows how many times the user won and how many times the computer won. Finally, the message goodbye is printed and the game terminates. So let's run this program and see how it works. So it says, type rock, paper, scissors, or cue to quit. So I'll choose rock. So the computer picked paper, which means I lost. Then let's see pick rock again, computer pick paper, I lost again, choose rock again, computer pick paper, I lost again, let's choose scissors, so computer pick paper, and I won. And if you want to quit at any time, you can type in Q and then quit. So that's it for the Python rock, paper, scissors game script. It demonstrates a simple yet interactive implementation of the classic game. You can expand and modify this code to add more features or improve its functionality. If you like content like this, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and let us know what you think. Peace.